Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will look at design spreadsheet problem which is from lead code number 3484. Let's look at the problem statement. In this problem my spreadsheet is a grid with 26 columns labeled from A to Z and a given number of rows. Each cell in the spreadsheet can hold an integer value between 0 to 10 to the power of 5. Implement the spreadsheet class where the spreadsheet constructor will be getting the number of rows and it will be initialized whenever the object gets uh, created for the class spreadsheet. It will initialize a spreadsheet with 26 columns labeled from A to Z and the specified number of rows. All cells are initially set to 0. So you can imagine it like a 2D table where you will have the column names from A, B, C to Z. So you will have the numbers from 0 to 25 in the columns and in the rows you will be uh, starting the numbering from 0 to particularly row minus 1 or uh, in, in this case the numbering will start with 1 so 0 with a row may not be useful so you will have 1 to row so that means you have to take one extra row when you are declaring the two dimensional table right now the first API is the set cell where they will be giving you the cell number and we have to set the value for that cell number so if they say about let's say cell number uh, A1 then this means that column number A and the row number 1 and if it is it is passing the parameter as a1 with 10 value this means that the cell a1 that means uh, the column number a and the row number 1 must be set to the value 10 that is the meaning of it okay and uh, similarly you can assume what will be b10 b10 will be uh, column number b that means column number 1 and the row number 10 and we have to take that cell and set whatever is the value coming so if you got to implement this API, like let's say you want to implement the set cell, then what we can simply do is first declare the two dimensional table from A to Z. You can take uh, 26 columns and you can take 0 to row. That means row plus one number of rows and 26 columns. If you can define such kind of spreadsheet, spreadsheet, then it should be of integer type because all the values which they are storing are integer in the range of 0 to 10 to the power of 5. So 32 bit integer should work fine. And in this case, whenever the cell comes, then we have to derive from the given cell. Let's say the cell value is A10. We have to derive uh, what is the column number. Now the column number can only be in the range of A to Z. So the first letter, that means the cell at 0 will be giving you what is the column number. We can take cell at 0 and subtract a from it to get the values in the range of 0 to 25 so we will exactly know what is the column number and the rest of them uh, can be of any digit and, and it can go to a maximum of the number of rows which we will be looking at the constraint let's look at the constraint and see what is the maximum number of rows so the maximum rows are 10 to the power of 3 that means 1 followed by 3 zeros so we can have 4 digits maximum after this first character and uh, so the length of the cell cannot grow to more than you can say 5 okay the length of the cell cell string will not be more than 5 and that is why uh, this implementation of the set cell will be pretty simple you just have to take the first character find out the column number extract the rest of the number and simply get the row number and uh, we since we know the row and column number we can just go to that cell and set the value what will be the time complexity of this approach well the length is not more than five anyway and that is why i will consider it parsing as order of one which is the length of the cell and the setting of the value after random access on a 2d array is order of one so this complexity is order of one now let's look at the reset cell the reset cell is same because if a cell is given like let's say a10 is given and you need to reset it to a new value 0 then you need to exactly follow the same process find the row number column number go there and reset the value to 0 so the time complexity will be same as order of 1 when you are going to the get value then you will be given a certain formula and the formula will always be of the format of uh, equals x plus y in such a way that you will always find the 0th character in this formula being equals to and somewhere in the middle you will find a plus which will be a separator between your x and y and x 
will actually give you either a integer number like 10 or it can give you the row and column value like let's say a10 so if it is giving you a character followed by an integer then it is saying that go to that cell and would extract the value from the table from the spreadsheet otherwise if it is just giving you integer then it means that don't go anywhere and this is the value so if i just write it as a10 plus 10 then this is saying that you go to you go to a10 that means uh, column number a and row number 10 and get the value whatever is the value here let's say that the value is 5 replace this value with 5 and plus add this to 10 so if it is just integer then just add it to 10 and the value should be 15 and that should be the result okay so if you look at the constraint section again then you will find that the formula is always in the format of equals x plus y where x and y are either valid cell references or non-negative integers with values less than or equals to 10 to the power of 5 each cell reference consists of a capital letter from a to z that i already told you and the row will be numbered from one to rows that means you have to take rows plus one number of rows when you declare the 2d table at most 10 to the power 4 calls will be made in total to set call reset call and get value so anyway we are solving this entire thing optimally so we don't need to worry about uh, this number of calls it is just 10 to the power of 5 and up till now whatever we have solved has just been linear time order of one right so if you just look at this uh, last function the get value then i just need to extract the values x and y let me show you all these apis with the example in the initial case the spreadsheet uh, three is initialized that means you will have a b c d and so on you will have till z this will be the table and uh, since you have three rows i'll be taking 0 1 2 3 as the number of rows okay so i can make this table this is your initial table and now in this table let's try to solve our problem the first problem is about the get value so get value equals 5 plus 7 so whenever it is in, in in this format you just ignore the first value by the first value i mean it is going to be just equals to so just extract the next number you can use the find operator to find where is the position of plus and you can take the substring function to slice the string okay and the string length will just be a constant it will just be 1 to 5 length that's it so if you extract the number uh, then you can uh, convert it to integer by just doing like let's say if you have 52 as your string and you want to get it into integer then you can st uh, do string to integer function by taking the substring that is one way or you can implement this by doing you can say number will be equals to zero and whenever uh, you see a digit you will do number time tens plus that particular digit so initially when you extract this digit it is going to be zero times ten plus five and so the total value is going to be 5 and the next time when you go to 2 then it will be 5 times 10 plus 2 which is going to be 52 that is how you extract the number using a simple while loop okay once you have done that for both 5 and 7 you can just add it up and return the result as 12 when it is about the set cell a1 then you know uh, that you have to first check the first character and see what is the column number it is a that means 0th column so you can get it by a minus this uh, character a and you will get a zero value that means zeroth column and after this whatever is the digit you just extracted by this formulation in a while loop and get the value one so go to row number one column number zero and you have to set the value there with a 10 so i'll write 10 here that's it so get value was order of one set value is also order of one now the get value again again the get value is being called so this is a1 plus 6 so if you look at a1 again we, we can extract this a1 and it is taking 10 10 plus 6 will be 16 so the answer will be 16 here right if you look at set cell again it is saying b2 so go to b2 and set the value here as 15 so this is also order of 1 now again uh, go to get value so the get value a1 plus b2 a1 plus b2 will give you 25 and that is why the answer is 25 reset cell a1 so it will go to a1 and reset the value to zero value so the value has now been reset to zero 
then the get value a1 plus b2 this will be giving you 0 plus 15 which is 15 only so i hope this entire approach is clear it is very simple uh, to solve i hope you have already solved it now let me show you the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem i have taken PIEI as pair of integers and i have de declared a 2d sheet so the initial call will be made to the spreadsheet and you see that this is my spreadsheet uh, call which is to to the constructor and it will be just defining the number of rows so in the sheet i will be defining rows plus one number of rows because it will range from one to row and 26 number of columns now when the question comes to set cell then we will be given the string cell like what is the cell number a 10 b 5 or something like that and what should be the value in that cell these two things will be given as input so first of all i will be getting the row and column from the given string cell like if it is a10 then what is the row and column number and this is the code for it in this code you see that if we get a cell then we will make a position pointer go to zero that means if i want to extract a10 then my position pointer will start at index zero and then the column will say that i have not seen any valid column because maybe the number will be only 10 because this api will be reused in other api calls as well so in this case i'll be assuming column as minus one if the column remains as minus one till the end then i will say that i have not seen any valid column and that is why the entire expression is just an integer number now i'll be checking if cell at zero lies in the range of a to z if that is the case then the column will be assigned to that number so a minus a will be zero and the po position will go to the next position and after this uh, we will be calculating the row which will be starting with zero and this is the while loop which i had said that once you see a one then you will do 10 uh, row times 10 plus whatever is the cell value which will make it one and then the position will go to the next location and this one time 10 plus zero is going to make it 10 and that is how uh, the position when it goes out of bound then this while loop will stop and then you have the row and column so you have row number as 10 and the column number as zero right so this is how we are going to calculate now in this case if you had just calculated for entry 10 uh, then this entry 10 cannot come in the set cell or in the reset cell it can come in the get value so in the get value it can be something like this as well or something like this okay so how do you identify that this is not a reference to the table in this case when you have this 10 then you start your position pointer and and this cell at zero uh, will not be in the range of a to z okay and that is why uh, this piece of code will not run and so the column value will remain as minus one and so the column will return as minus one for that api call so if you look at the get value then it is getting the value first it is trying to find where is plus so if i have 20 plus b10 then it is finding the position of this plus let's say that position of plus is 3 okay then it then it will be stored in the position then i will be calling the extraction on the left side by passing uh, the only the substring from 1 to 2 that means 1 to position minus 1 that substring which means 20 will be passed so it will just return a uh, row value to be 20 and the column value will be minus 1 now when you check that the column value is minus one then this means that the row is the actual number which needs to be added otherwise if the column is also valid that means something non-negative then the sheet will be accessed for that particular row and column and that will be added the same thing will be repeated to the right hand side as well which is to the right hand side of the given position pointer so i hope this entire approach is clear the set cell and reset cell is exactly the same okay so i think uh, it is self-explanatory now if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you